in the year 2014, the Guam Visitors Bureau enacted the Tourism 2020 Plan. The goal had Guam bringing in a record-setting 2 million visitors a year. One of the objectives in order to reach this high number is to secure a China visa waiver. This would allow easier access for mainland Chinese travelers to visit our island, but it also presents new challenges, changes, and opportunities for Guam. In the past century, the tourism industry has taken the mantle as Guam's top economic sector. During World War II, the military was the primary source of Guam's income, generating 75% of the revenue for our economy. Since then, Guam has developed into a popular tourist destination. The number of Guam's visitors have steadily risen in the past few years, but in order to sustain our island, the goal is to continue to grow our arrivals gradually. If the China visa waiver is secured, the Guam Visitors Bureau believes it will be one step closer in achieving the 2 million arrivals mark and having a future set on economic prosperity. In order for us to accommodate a large number of people, we create a number of challenges. Guam is already home to an estimated 170,000 people and brings in about 1.3 million visitors each year. The increasing flow of visitors would be a catalyst for many environmental impacts. Before another 700,000 tourists arrive on our shores, Guam still has plenty of questions to answer about its environmental concerns. Shouldn't there be a plan for banning plastic bags? What about the implementation of the bottle bill passed in 2010? Would electric instead of diesel-fueled buses be more beneficial to transport people around the island? An additional influx of people will cause traffic congestion, and yet our public transportation system is still full of flaws. What happens to all the additional garbage and runoff from the developments and roadways that pour into Tumon Bay? Should we take a look at alternative energy sources? Global warming is a major issue as well and can be unfavorable to our island's water supply. Guam's own natural resources could be depleted through the extensive use of many new visitors. The list of concerns goes on. Tourism can hold harmful effects on the quality of life. A China visa waiver would have more people contributing to our environment's degradation. Air, noise, water, and land pollution play a major role in the deterioration of health in all living things. Transportation in Guam has also brought many predators, nearly causing the extinction of Guam's indigenous creatures and destroying plants and vegetation. Marine life and the health of the coral reefs are very fragile as well and suffer due to the increase of tourist activities. The developments made to clear land for hotels and attractions robs many animals of their homes. The long-lasting repercussions of tourism are very important to be aware of. The environment is very delicate, and such an increase of visitors could prove volatile to society. If such a drastic change were to occur, the health of our island would take years or even decades to restore. Guam's culture its traditions and values stand on an oath. The Inifresi. In it, we pledge. Parabai Protehi. San Hudefendi. Ihanengi. Ikotura. Ilenguahi. Iairi. Ihanam. Zanitana Chamoru. Bringing the negative impacts that come from tourism is the complete opposite of what the Inifresi stands for. Tourism has its benefits, but it also has its downfalls. The economy tries to achieve economic sustainability through tourism, but it actually increases our reliance on other countries. If secured, the China visa waiver may give the Chinese the ability to enter Guam more freely but it does not guarantee a significant impact right away. The new projects and developments made could result in a failure if there is not as much demand for Guam in the tourism industry. The outcome of this China visa waiver is currently nothing more than a question mark. The amount of risks may not be enough to counter the benefits and end up being more detrimental to our island than help it. There needs to be a balance. Guam needs to look towards sectors that will improve the economy and its smaller assets. 
There are many underdeveloped industries that could prove beneficial to our society, such as our agriculture and local industry. An effort to replace the reliance of tourism through the support of our own businesses will provide a major boost to our economy and develop our major island resources. We are all part of one island. If all of us can help each other in creating the balance in our own economical dependence, we can protect and defend the beliefs, the culture, the language, the air, the water, and the land of the Chamorro. It's our island, our home, Guam. <laughs>